guys welcome back to my channel I have changed my background I was trying something like this out the angles a little weird so I apologize for that but I, I kind of like this background where I have my shelves behind me so I'm gonna try this out for a while and see how it goes today I am going to be doing an unboxing video that I said I would do in a previous video um, never got to and it is the Zenitsu Nendroid from Demon Slayer. I didn't unbox it in my other video because I kind of feel like it take longer to unbox him because he has so many parts. Before I start unboxing him, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment your favorite, either your favorite thing about Zenitsu or your favorite Demon Slayer character in general. Let's get started now. <laughs> Okay, so starting off, here is the box. There he is. Sorry for the reflection on him, but there he is. He's got quite a few accessories that come with him. Um, here is the side of the box. And then here is the back. <laughs> this is such a cute expression. Um, so he's got some famous poses. First of all, his well-known battle pose, his thunderclap pose, his Nezuko-chan pose, and then of course you have his terrified look as well. And I absolutely love that he comes with Chuntaro, or Chuntaro, I always mess his name up, but all right, let's unbox him. Okay, we got two layers of items here. So this is the first layer. First layer has Zenitsu. Look at him, he's so cute. He's so much cuter up close than in the box or like, how you see them online. I absolutely love this expression. I probably, I'm probably gonna keep this expression on him, um, but I'll change it up so you can see the other expressions he comes with as well. But look at him, he's so tiny, he's so cute. Uh, French fry boy. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else he comes with. Let's leave them right there. <laughs> okay, so he has these legs, and these legs are um, for his uh, thunder pose, thunderclap pose, like that. So there's that. He has his thunder, or his lightning bolt. It's almost transparent. And then this is kind of like the effect, or the special effects. I don't know what you would call this, but... um like that that's what that is and then he has his swords he has two swords he has this one can you open this oh no you can't okay so he has this closed sword and then he has it open with um, these lightning yellow lightning details which I love and you have details on the sword here too. And then finally, for the first layer, we have Chuntaro! Guys, I am sorry if the lighting is bad. This is like the only place I have to record. Um, but this is Chuntaro. He looks so smooth, okay. Uh, and then the way you put him on Zenitsu is he has this clear flap this clear plastic flap that moves so it's really fragile unfortunately but you have to open up his uh head <laughs> which sounds weird and then just um put it in between put chuntaro in between and close it up on that um which i will show you in just a moment 
Let me get to the second layer first. Okay, second layers. We have his base, which is really big. This is the biggest um, base that I have for a Nendroid. Oh, it's probably because if you want his thunder clap effect, it takes up a lot of space. So that's probably the reason for the biggest base. I don't know if the other Demon Slayer Nendroids have a huge base like that, but Zenitsu does. So, and then you have other face plates. Nezuko-chan, scared face, and then his thunderclap face. He has a lot of hand poses, so let me get this open up. Okay, so close-ups. I, <laughs> I wouldn't pose him like this on my shelf, but I absolutely love this face. The tears, the tears are also, um, raised they're molded on there this is his nezuko chan i was debating on getting nezuko for him but there are a lot of other figures that i want and that i've pre-ordered and still have to pay the shipping for on ami ami so i will get her at some point just for him and then finally we have his thunderclap facial expression and then we have his base which like i said is bigger than a normal nendroid base so I have this Nendroid of Alba from New Game, and here's a little comparison. So it's a lot bigger, just so you know. So hopefully you have the shelf space for Zenitsu if you want to get him. Um, and then there's this, which I don't know. I'm guessing it's for his thunderclap pose. Um, to hold the lightning bolt or the little effect thing because <laughs> then this is to hold the actual figure oh, and then you have this one too so yeah so let us try different poses here so I'm gonna change his pose and then be right back okay so this is his Nezuko-chan pose I gotta say, this figure, this Nendroid in particular, is really hard to put together. I <laughs> am so scared I'm gonna break him. You gotta pull really hard on some of the parts, or push really hard on some of the parts. Put Chuntaro up there, but I was so scared that he was gonna break too, just cause I had to keep pulling and then pushing and yeah. So there is the Nezuko-chan pose. Um, adorable and if this simple pose was difficult to put together i can't imagine how difficult that thunderclap pose is going to be so let me show you the next facial expression hopefully it won't take as long <laughs> okay so there is that pose <laughs> right there i don't know if i put the hands right i think i did so close enough there's a lot of pieces to this, so I think I got it down. And then finally, we are going to do the last pose, which I am hoping is not difficult to put together. This one was a little okay. I just had to figure out the hands. That took me a little bit of time because there's so many pieces. Um, so yeah, let's try that one over there. Okay, so <laughs> this is the best I could do. The thing that sucks about this, let me show you a comparison it's really hard to get it like that i'm not really sure how they did it something else to point out is i'd be really careful with these these are super fragile i don't know maybe there are other videos that show the right way to put them this is the best i could do i'm not even going to have him in this pose i am going to have him in his little innocent pose with um chuntaro at the top of his head you know what let us go to my shelf and see how he would sit okay so i'm an idiot you can just make the base diagonal like that and he looks perfectly fine he looks so cute with the magical girl figures <laughs> sorry about the lighting the sun is going down but basically there he is i actually kind of like this pose now so i don't know i think i'm either gonna keep him in this pose or um change it to that more innocent pose I do have 
I do have them in innocent poses here as well and a smiling one and then another innocent one so maybe so maybe to kind of change it up a bit I will leave him in this pose but yeah there he is he is so cute I love him so much um, they really nailed it with this figure you can see the details right there the gradient on his clothes you can see the almost transparent lightning bolt and then transparent to opaque effect right there and then his cute little face holding his sword it's really difficult I don't know if I'm using the wrong hands or not but it's really difficult to have him hold his sword correctly so I kind of gave up midway on that I kind of just left it on that he's supposed to be holding the white part he was holding it before but it, I guess it fell off I don't know and if you want to spice this pose up a little more you can add Chuntaro at the top of his head trying to wake his ass up or something I don't know and that was the unboxing I hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry about the terrible lighting sorry it was a weird setup um, I don't really have a specific place to set up and unbox these figures so I just used my desk this time the other times I've been using my bed because I had a cute pink background on it so that's the reason for that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and comment your favorite um, Zenitsu moment or reason why you love Zenitsu or just your favorite Demon Slayer character in general and I will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys <laughs>